All right, I'm finally ready to get these batteries hooked up in a 48 volt system. Come join me. Okay, so here we have two of the ampere time batteries and two of the lithium time batteries. I'm going to hook all four of these together as a 48 volt battery bank. And let's go into connecting them up and what we should do. Fully charge the batteries separately. Already done that step. Second, connect the batteries one by one in parallel and leave together for 12 to 24 hours. That's what we're about to do. And then after they balance, disconnect them, check the voltage, make sure they're all balanced out to the same voltage, and then they can be connected in series or parallel. And we will let them sit here overnight. Okay, we've let these sit and balance. When I hooked these up, they were 13.61. Let's see what the balance is. 13.45. Let's get these disconnected. What we get individually. 13.45, 13 13.45, 13.45, 13.45, 13.45. 13 Okay, now we have our batteries sitting over here all together. So let's get started. Now then, 53.9. Let's give them 12 to 24 hours to balance in between all of them. So let's see, what did they balance out to? 53.8 okay i'm gonna get these batteries broke down and set up over here in the battery box and that's where we'll start wiring Here's a little bit of an overview. So I guess we can start from the negative bus bar. You got two alt gauge that goes to each string and also to the battery shunt. In between each battery is two alt gauge and the jumpers from the top string to the bottom string of batteries, they're four gauge. You got our display up here from the battery shunt uh, and then over here on the positive side, each string goes to a class T fuse, as you see right there. And then to the bus, from the bus to cutoff switch to another bus and then the inverter is connected with number two gauge couldn't stack all four of the lithium times on top of the ampere times without having so many variations in lengths of wire and this that and this other so this was the best solution for me pretty neat though it's just the bluetooth dongle for the battery shunt the ac output Feeds over into this breaker box. Okay, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect time to see what my max solar potential is right now. And it's looking at about 1200 watts. So 1.2 kilowatts out of 1.5 kilowatt array all right guys that's it that's how i did my system i appreciate y'all watching i'll leave some links in the description if you're interested in any of the products i used for this build and until next time peace oh and if you was wondering why i wired my batteries like i did this is why in the back it has diagrams on how you should wire your batteries and since i'm doing 48 volt this is what they suggest And if you stick around for a minute, I'll have some bonus footage 
of me uh, installing this inverter.